Yeah. You ready? Go. All right. Break. Good, good, very good. You, you kept it out of the lockup. Um, that this is a, a very important skill to learn, especially for a non-ABS car. I want you to keep it absolutely pinned until I say stop. Got it. And uh, whenever you're ready, go. Four. On the four. Stop. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Don't go through there because it's a big dip. I'm going to go back through the gravel. Um, that's all right. Um, you found where the limits were. Um, I probably pushed it a little bit too late, to be completely honest with you. Um, but you found it, and that was that was my point. Okay, this time let's go a little bit faster and and really get the car into max ABS. So I want you to floor it. All right. Floor. I want you to keep it pinned down until I say stop. And when I say stop. Hammer the brake pedal, push it through the floor, and right. hold it down. Don't let up. Go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. That's good. That's that's excellent. That's exactly what you want to do. Um, now, hopefully, you're uh, you see now how much braking capability the car has. Yeah. Was that a surprise the first time you did that? The first time you got him to make that noise and yeah. feel it jiggle around? Yeah, first I didn't know what it was, but since I know what it was. That's that's the ABS. I don't know. You, you're gonna trust me? Yeah. If we end up in the grass, is that okay? Yeah, I guess. All right, floor it and keep it pinned. Keep it pinned. We're gonna go past the cones. Keep it pinned. Keep it pinned. Keep it pinned. Break. Well, that's all right. There's nobody over here, so I'm going to go reset the counter. So when you're ready, go. All right, ease up just a little. All right. That's okay. Turn more the first time. Yeah. Yeah. You don't normally drive like this on the road, but this is a this is an emergency avoidance technique. We want you to. This is a a pile of wood falls off the truck in front of you. Yeah. You want to be able to get around it. Okay. Go. He's off. Turn. Turn. Very good. Yeah. That's it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Nice. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, in, in the real world, when you've got an obstacle in front of you, you've got two choices. You've got to stop. you got to come to a complete stop. Mm -hmm. Or you've got to avoid it. you got to drive around it. And that's what these first two exercises. We're going to uh, try maybe a little bit faster this time. All right. Uh, I, I tell you what, I'll I'll tell you when to, to lift. So just keep it pegged until I tell you to lift. All right. So go. Lift. Yes, yes, you got it. I didn't think you were gonna make it. I thought you were gonna plow that cone, but you you really cranked some steering into it. And you can tell the car is working because you heard the tire squeal. Yeah. Like it it didn't yeah, like yeah. it, but it did it. It, you you ask it to do something and it did it. Um, so so many accidents are caused by people not using the car to their full extent. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. 
Okay, moderate speed. Um, I'll, I'll tell you when to turn. Uh, so go, pick, pick whichever side you want to start with. I don't care. All right, accelerate, turn, 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 turn. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was close. All right, whenever you're ready, let's see what you got. Yes, yes, yes. Turn it hard, hard. Bam. That's it. That is it. I, I think you've gotten all you're going to get out of that one. All right. Got ready. Faster. Quicker. Quicker. That's all right. Oh, yes. That was nice. That was absolutely nice. You didn't... I didn't say anything about correcting a spin, but you felt the car start to step out to the right and you counter steered into it. That's absolutely perfect. Wow, where is he going? He's making it way harder on himself. Not bad. Well, all right. Steady, steady state. Accelerate gradually through the whole thing. All right. So when you're ready, hit it. I didn't think you're going to try to make that last one, but you did. Nice, nice. All right, it's clear. So um, hammer it until I say break. Look through it. Look to the right. Look to the right. Look to the right. Break. I anticipated a little bit. That, that was actually... Go ahead and clear the, the, to the next segment. That was actually probably pretty good because if you had waited until I said break, mm -hmm. you'd have been hitting cones. So I, I kind of screwed up my judgment on that one. I didn't think you were going to accelerate quite that hard. But that's that's good. That's showing that you're you're anticipating it. You're, you're getting a feel for what the car can do and you know when you need to stop. So... I'm gonna let you take this one. Hammer it, just floor it, and when you think you need to break to get the turn done, do it. All right. I hesitated there for a second. Yep, you, you started to turn before you started breaking. Yeah. Um, on, on that one, we probably wanna break aggressively and then make our turn. The more speed you get scrubbed off, the easier it is gonna make that Deceit, you know that that deviously sharp turn there. All right, I'm gonna leave this one up to you. I think I think based on that last time, you've got a pretty good judge of uh, when you need to brake. So um, floor it until you feel like you need to stop. Brake then turn. Perfect, perfect. You're using every bit of the car. You've got the ABS kicking. You felt it. I yeah. heard it. I'll uh, go ahead and clear the car, course for the next one. And same thing here. Just keep in mind it's a little tighter than the other one. And get your braking done first and then try to turn. Don't get off the brake, of course. Yeah. Keep keep the brake on. But get, get the majority of your braking done in a straight line and then start to turn the car. And you may want to ease off the brake pedal just a little bit to make the turn. As fast as you want to go. That was good. That was good. You can tell that one's tighter than the other one. Yeah, I felt the drift on it. Yeah, what you felt there was understeer. Uh -huh. You felt the front end slide. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna work on that in the in the afternoon when we start to, to do the skid pad. Mm -hmm. You're really gonna get an idea of what understeer and oversteer is. Side lane. So I want you to get off of the gas mm -hmm. and don't touch the brake. I want you All to right. be no pedals. Through the whole steering event so it, there's going to be a big move to the left and a big move to the right to straighten it and then when you straighten the wheel then you get on the brakes so this, right. the whole thing is done with no brakes so right. go ease up a little all right turn killed that one yeah uh, turn more yep 
Turn a lot. You're gonna have to get, yeah, you're gonna have to turn a lot more. Hard. Yes. 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 Alright, whenever you're ready. I think Shane's found the trick. I won't do that again, I promise. Just kidding. Conclusion. Um, while you were here today, the almost nine hours that you were here today, a major crash happened every nine seconds. Somebody died every 13 minutes. Okay, nationally, more than six, 36 people died today while you were sitting in here. Ten of them were your age. Motor vehicles, crashes are the leading cause of death for teenagers. More than violence, more than drugs, more than diseases combined. We killed over 5,600 teenagers last year in car wrecks. That's more than the soldiers that have been killed in the Middle East since we've been there. 62% of the passenger deaths occurred in vehicles driven by another teenager. Two-thirds of those teens killed weren't wearing seat belts. That's just wrong. Over half of all occupant deaths and accidents are not restrained, are not wearing seat belts. 62% of all accidents occur in urban areas. 60% of all fatal accidents occur on rural roads. Most of those roads weren't designed as roads. They're old trails, stagecoach, animal paths, whatever. Two-lane roads out there often, often offer limited runoff area and very little room for recovery if you drop two wheels off. 
40% of all accidents happen on curves. Okay, going too fast, drop two wheels off, don't know what to do, overcorrect, game over. So, we hope you had some fun today. We hope you learned some new skills. Do I owe anybody any money? There you go. Good. <laughs> this, is, nah, 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 nah. this is this is the Darth Vader speech. Okay, you now have more more knowledge and more skills than your friends do. Whether you use this for good or for evil, I can't control. <laughs> but I can promise you, I'll hear about it. Okay, this is a nice, closed, tight little group. And if we hear about something happening because of what you learned here today, it's not going to go over very well. All right. All the yellow shirt people standing around the room, students, parents, if you could lock your eyes on one of them and say thank you, because they're not getting anything other than a stinky shirt out of them. And I can promise you that shirt smells right yes. now. What about a rough time? I'm sorry. What about a rough time? Rough time for the students? Yeah, from. From the students. Well, that's usually not a benefit. All right. Um, there are many ways that you can keep improving your driving skills. Uh, there's a little event held by, uh, by the group that helps support this, which is the Highland uh, Sports Car Club. They do autocrossing, which is very similar to what you did today, except it's competition. It's timed. You're out there by yourself. You're trying to beat your time. Your insurance company might not be very happy about that, though, because it is competition in a vehicle, and you're not going to be covered for that. Don't okay? about it. But you will improve your driving skill doing that. And once you're over 18, if you would like to do a high performance driving school, uh, we can do that on the racetrack. Um, yeah, can go I ahead. Say something real quick? Sure. Hi, I'm, uh, my name is Shane. I'm the uh, president of Highland Sports Car Club. And uh, we'd like to offer anybody here who would like to uh, participate in this, this higher performance driving school, we'll take some of the skills you've learned here and take it to the next level. We'd like to offer you a free membership for a year in Highland Sports Car Club. So anybody here, if you would, if you would like to, uh, you got a free membership. It's only twenty bucks, but hey, it's, it's something <laughs> it's free. Twenty bucks. So uh, we, we definitely want to offer something. You know, hope we uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a really good time putting it on. Um, we want to thank uh, Tire Rack, the uh, BMW Car Club. Um, all of these guys that, that do this um, on behalf of Highlands, we want to, want to thank all of them. Hope you guys had a good time. And if uh, any of you want to join us for a little uh, a little more advanced skills, we'd be happy to have you. So thank you. You have to be 18 to do that. You have to be 16. You have to be. You have to have a full license. North Carolina has the the provisional, like the the learner's permit, and then a limited license, and it has to be a full license. Basically, the the quick and easy way to remember it is if you can drive by yourself at any hour of the day legally, then you're legally allowed to drive at a Highlands event. So uh, if you have any questions about it, just see one of the one of the guys uh, in the yellow shirts or me, and uh, we have to have happy to answer any questions. So thank you very much. We appreciate the opportunity. Not a problem. Thank you all for the support of doing this. Mm -hmm. Brian. Brian actually, he contacted me a year and a half ago, almost two years ago now, and said, hey, we really want to do this. Came down to Michelin, uh, down to Lawrence in South Carolina, saw what we were doing down there, said, yeah, we can do this, spun this up and got all this going together. So he did a lot of work. Scott Meyer also did a lot of work on this. So I really thank him for it. So if you don't have any questions, sure, go ahead. Are there any homeschoolers here today? Okay, how did you hear about us? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no, we, we, we heard about it from our, his we, mother, I think. We, we put a note out on the, the Upstate South Carolina Homeschool uh, Bulletin Board, and I was just wondering if anyone had... That's where we got on the email, Luke. Okay, that's where it came through? Okay, good. Thank you. All right, so um, anybody got any questions? <coughs> Mr. Scott, can you... Uh, yep. Now, what he's going to hand you is a uh, certificate here, a uh, graduation certificate. Uh, suitable for framing, of course. Uh, but actually, parents, uh, if you want to copy this, send it to your insurance agent. Tell them, don't ask them, tell them that your kid just went through an eight-hour 
advanced driving skill class and they deserve a, re a reduction on your insurance. Uh, if they have any question about it, uh, they can call me. Uh, I'll send them part of the curriculum. I'll explain what they are. I'll talk to them way longer than they want me to talk to them. <laughs> uh, but don't ask. Um, kind of demand if you can. Uh, some of the major insurance companies are starting to get interested in us, uh, but we still got a ways to go before they'll, uh, they'll really do it automatically. So um, Scott's going to call your name out if you come up here uh, and grab your certificate. You can be on your way. Okay. Will Newman. Applause is appropriate. Alyssa Maness. Of course. Amelia Lynn. Susanna Lofton. Mitchell Hart. Cole Edwards, <laughs> Hazel Clark, <laughs> Allison Caligiuri, <laughs> Will Hughes, <laughs> William Wheat. Hey, I decided not to go. Yeah, right Morgan Pittman. <laughs> Christian Whitaker. <laughs> Kelly Stewart. Good job. after they were printed, so okay. we'll just your name and we're going to get one right, right. right. All right. Are you on your mailing list, so if you come back in the fall, you'll we'll automatically Yes, you are. We got your contact information. Some of you heard this speech, so the ones that did, sorry. Um, you're going to get an email from me, both the parent and the student, <coughs> inviting you to participate in an online survey in about six weeks. We intentionally wait a while, so some of this kind of sinks in. Uh, and Fortunately, unfortunately, you might have to put some of these skills to use, uh, but the online survey will just ask you uh, some information on if you've had any incidents, what you got out of the class, some of that kind of stuff. At the end of that survey, we're going to ask, can we follow you for a while? Uh, we'd like to check in about every six months or a year uh, just to kind of, again, again get, a, get a feedback on any incidents or that kind of stuff. That way we can go to the insurance companies with a big block of data and say, look, we followed these kids for five years. They've got less wrecks than the kid that didn't go through the program for five years. So, uh, but also when, when we do open up another school in this area, you'll get an email from us. So you can bring another sibling. You can tell your friends and neighbors, you know, whatever. Uh, word of mouth, word of mouth is, is really the best <coughs> advertisement that we've got. Uh, we're a nonprofit. We don't have money for an advertising budget. We're all over the United States anyway. So we really kind of rely on a lot of word of mouth. You interrupted me and I couldn't hear what you said. So what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a lot of people have taken this more than once. So that's always an option. If you Especially a permitted it. driver, somebody that hasn't got a lot of seat time uh, behind the wheel. Uh, it's good to come back in a year and kind of do it again. Uh, drag somebody with you. Uh, parents, you see what this does. Um, you know, talk about it at work, talk about it at church, talk about it wherever you are. Uh, and that's what's going to help us fill these schools up. All right, guys, anything? Brian, yeah, anything? I'd just like to say thank you to everybody for coming out, and I appreciate you parents bringing all your kids out, and appreciate all the help and all the help that you give me. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they about the first All right, we've got, we've got one last thing is the graduation exercise, combined exercise. Uh, if you want to get your parent in a car, uh, we can fill up the car as much as you can, as long as it's got doors. 
Okay, we can't put anybody in the back seat of a car if they don't have any rear doors. Uh, it's kind of a safety thing. So um, if you got four doors and you got four people, have at it. Do you want the instructors to go with them on the first um, lap, or does it matter? Can. Um, if, if the instructor wants to jump in just for that first lap, that would be great, so we know which way to go. Um, and if you press for time, you don't want to do this, and you want to get out of here, I understand that as well. It's been a long day, and everybody's hot. So, again, thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. We'll see you next time.